Have you ever stopped and thought, wait a second, we've got lions in India, right? So why don't we have tigers in Africa? I mean, Africa is the land of big cats, lions, leopards, cheetahs, practically a predator paradise, but somehow no tigers ever made it there. Not now, not in the past. Nothing. It feels weird, right? Because when you zoom out and look at the map, it almost feels like a glitch in the animal matrix. Tigers are all over Asia, from Siberia to the jungles of Sumatra. Lions dominate the African savanna. But for some reason, these two heavyweight cats never shared the same playground, except for that one tiny pocket in India, where they kind of brush shoulders today. Today, there's only one place on Earth where lions still roam outside of Africa, a little patch of dry forest in western India called the Gir Forest. That's it, just one population hanging on in a small corner of Gujarat, surrounded by people, farmland, and traffic. It almost feels like they're in the wrong place. In a way, they kind of are. But here's the twist. They didn't arrive in India recently. Asiatic lions are actually a leftover from a time when lions had a way bigger range. We're talking tens of thousands of years ago, when lions weren't just in Africa. They were all over Europe, the Middle East, and deep into Asia. These weren't some weak jungle-only lions either. They were the real deal, part of the same species as African lions, just adapted to different climates and terrains. Some lived in forests, others in rocky deserts. They were incredibly flexible. But over time, most of those lion populations disappeared. Climate shifts, human expansion, and habitat loss took care of that. The ones in Europe went extinct. The ones in the Middle East vanished. And the lions in India? Somehow, against all odds, they survived. What's wild is that these Asiatic lions aren't that different from their African cousins. They're just a bit smaller, with shorter manes, looser belly skin, and a slightly more social vibe. Same basic animal, just shaped by a different environment and a lot of isolation. So, why does this matter for tigers? Because if lions could spread that far, across continents, through deserts and forests, it means that they had tools to travel. Which brings us to the big question. If lions pulled it off, why didn't tigers? Tigers are the largest cats on the planet, and they've always been the top predators in their domain. But here's the thing. Their domain has always been Asia. From the cold forests of Siberia to the streaming jungles of Indonesia, tigers are kings of a completely different world from lions. And they like it that way. Tigers are mostly solitary. They need a lot of space, dense cover, and plenty of water. Unlike lions who thrive in open savannas and live in social groups, tigers are forest cats. They're ambush hunters, built for stalking through thick vegetation, not chasing prey across open plains. That preference for dense wooded habitats has a lot to do with where they ended up. You'll find tigers in India, Nepal, Bhutan, Bangladesh, Southeast Asia, and the Russian Far East all places with forests, rivers, or swamps. They never really moved into dry or open environments the way lions did. And it's not just about preference, it's about competition too. Lions had already locked down Africa and the Middle East. They had numbers, pride dynamics, and the kind of teamwork that can push other predators out. Tigers, being solo operators, weren't going to win that turf war, even if they tried. Plus, let's not forget how geography played a role. Tigers evolved in Asia, likely around China or Central Asia, and their path west was full of obstacles, deserts, mountains, other predators, and later, humans. So, could tigers have actually made it to Africa? On paper, maybe. There was a potential path, a land route through the Middle East. Back in the Ice Age, sea levels were lower, climates were shifting, and animals were on the move. Lions used that same corridor to get to India, and some even reached Europe and Northern Asia. So why not tigers? Well, the road was open, but it wasn't exactly easy. First, the terrain. The route from South Asia into Africa goes through some pretty unforgiving places. Deserts, dry mountains, and open plains. Not exactly a tiger paradise, Remember, tigers aren't fans of wide-open spaces. They need cover, water, 
and pray that they can sneak up on. Not flat land with nowhere to hide and herds of animals that can outrun them. Then there's the timing. By the time tigers started spreading into Asia, lions and other big predators had already claimed most of the good real estate in the West. Lions were dominating Africa and the Middle East. If a tiger wandered into that territory, it probably didn't end well. And with lions living in large, coordinated prides, they had a major advantage in holding onto territory. And finally, climate. The Sahara wasn't always a desert, but when it started drying up thousands of years ago, it became a massive barrier. Any big cat trying to cross it without backup, water, or shade? Not gonna happen. So even though it was technically possible for tigers to move west and reach Africa, the odds were stacked against them. Tigers stayed in the east where the forests were thick and the hunting was good. And that's why there were never African tigers, not even in the fossil record. But let's flip the question now. What if they had made it? Let's say one bold tiger population pushed west through the Middle East, found a forested pocket in East Africa, and actually settled in. What would have happened? First off, they'd have a rough time competing with lions. Lions don't mess around. They live in big prides. They team up and take down massive prey. And they're aggressive about territory. A lone tiger strolling into lion country would be outnumbered and outmatched. Even though a tiger is usually stronger one-on-one, -on -one, it wouldn't matter against a gang of lions working together. That means tigers would need to find their own niche. They'd probably avoid the open savannas altogether and stick to more forested or mountainous regions, somewhere lions don't dominate. Think places like the Congo Basin or the Ethiopian Highlands, where there's more cover and solitude. In those environments, tigers could do what they do best, sneak ambush, disappear. They'd likely go after bush buck, forest buffalo, maybe even small antelope species. Their hunting style would still work, it just wouldn't be flashy like a pride of lions chasing down a zebra. But here's the real twist. If tigers had found the right habitat in Africa, they could have survived. And if they had enough time and isolation, they might have even evolved into their own unique subspecies. A forest-adapted African tiger, maybe smaller, maybe darker, perfectly tuned for life in the jungle. And just imagine how that would change the whole lion versus tiger debate. They wouldn't just be rivals on paper, they'd be neighbors, competing, adapting, maybe even driving each other to evolve. But that's all a giant what-if. The truth is, Africa already had a full roster of predators. Lions, leopards, cheetahs, hyenas, wild dogs, everyone had their role. There just wasn't room for opportunity for another apex cat to sneak in and stay. And that brings us back to the big picture. The real reason tigers never made it to Africa isn't because they couldn't fight or hunt. It's because evolution isn't just about strength. So yeah, it turns out the reason there are no African tigers isn't some massive mystery. It's just geography, timing, and lifestyle. Tigers evolved to be stealthy forest hunters. Lions became social savanna kings. One stayed in the dense jungles of Asia. The other marched across continents and took over the open plains. And even though there was a possible path between them, it just never lined up. The land wasn't right, the competition was fierce, and the moment passed. Meanwhile, a few lions clung to life in India holding on as a tiny reminder that big cats once roamed far beyond the places we see them now. And honestly, that's one of the coolest things about wildlife history. It's full of near misses. Animals that almost made it somewhere. Predators that could have ruled a different land. Species that just missed their shot because the world shifted before they could. Now, here's the wildest part of all this. Even though tigers never made it to Africa naturally, some humans are trying to change that. Yep, there's actually a tiger population living in Africa right now. Not wild ones, but in a massive private reserve in South Africa where conservationists are running an experimental project. It's called the Tiger Canyon Project. And the goal isn't to introduce tigers to Africa in a Jurassic Park way. It's to create a self-sustaining tiger population in a safe, controlled environment. They're not roaming the savanna with lions or anything like that. 
It's more about giving captive tigers a semi-wild space to hunt, breed, and live naturally, without the poaching and deforestation problems they face in parts of Asia. Some of the tigers are even adapting surprisingly well to the open terrain. But make no mistake, this isn't about turning Africa into tiger territory. It's more like a lifeboat, a backup plan, a way to keep the species alive and healthy while their original habitats are being figured out. Still, it's kind of poetic, isn't it? Tigers never got to Africa on their own, but now, with a little help, they're finally getting a taste of it. That's all for today. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, subscribe, and share it with your friends. You can also leave a comment with what you would like to see in the following videos. Thanks for watching. See you next time.